What's up guys, wanted to come at you with another video this week and I wanted to do a quick rant on one of the most important topics in trading, if not top three, the all time, like just highlight reel. So emotions in trading, everyone is always telling you to become a robot, everybody's telling you to mitigate emotions and I think that while most of that's true, and to be robotic in nature is to be systematic. And to be systematic is to be disciplined. And to be disciplined is to be a good trader because maybe you have a setup, you follow that plan of the setup, and then you have risk management, and then you make money. And at the small times that you do lose, you have a systematic plan in place. But here's the thing. Modern Rock Bell, aka Modern Rock, taught me this a long time ago, and it's trading is as much art as it is a science. And while I think that you have to be a robot for most times and follow your plan and stick to your risk management, I think it's an 80-20. It's 80% robotic, 20%, I got a gut feeling here. I want to push harder or I want to ease off, you know, the, I, I want to stomp on the brakes and ease off the gas pedal because I'm just not feeling it in my gut. And sometimes traders really do have to trust themselves, but there's four major emotions that I want you guys to consider inhibiting mitigating, controlling, and making sure that they're not, you know, super prevalent in your thinking during the day, because if they are, and these are going to be your habits, that's going to show up in your trading. and It's not going to be good. The first one is probably the most at home favorite and the most talked about between any community or anybody who ever talks trading or whoever's traded themselves or teach trading is FOMO. FOMO is the fear of missing out. I've talked about this a lot. I'll talk about it again. I see someone on Twitter. I see someone on Facebook. I see someone in the trading chat room, Discord channel, Slack channel. Oh my God, they're doing so good. I need to push the gas pedal. I need to force. I need to make what she's making. I need to make what he's making. I need to make what they're all making. Guys, stop comparing yourself. The worst thing and one of the most toxic things you can do in your process or your trading career is going to Twitter Read an endless, you know, up down, just read an endless story of all these different posts of all these people. And it's going to give you FOMO. You're going to want to compare yourself. You're going to want to see what you're doing wrong. You're going to want to see, you know, um, all of your shortcomings in your trading because your P&L isn't as big as this person's or your day wasn't as abundant as another person's. Like pump the brakes, man. Control your FOMO. Number two, it really relates to FOMO, but it's kind of like a piggyback off is over eager. And a lot of new traders do this. And this is why they tread water so long or start really low in the PL curve and just have to dig themselves out of a hole eventually when they establish good habits. Because being, while it's good to be eager, while it's good to be excited for this career, while it's good to find a passion within it, over eager and not putting on the training wheels in the beginning, that's a real problem. So when you're like rushing off the cliff with no parachute and you didn't even know you didn't pack a parachute, this is why new traders specifically or just over eager, over emotional traders that are too hyped up for the day. We say too horny for a trade. They get into trouble and then they force stuff or they chase stuff or they revenge stuff. And it's really detrimental to the P&L that day or at least to their mental state going forward. And you have to protect both your mental capital and your actual capital. Number three is probably the number one thing I've had difficulty with in my entire trading career, guys, and I still do to this day sometimes, is frustration and anger. And it's a little bit of FOMO, or it's a little bit comparing yourself, but I'm so angry at the fact that I didn't make a certain PL. I'm frustrated in the fact that maybe my first loss of the day was a loss and not a win, and then maybe by the end of the day it is a green day. But this like frustration with your trading, this frustration to be perfect, this anger, and then which breeds revenge trading or oversizing, or I got to make it back or the sky's the limit. It's a very long list. So you have to really get a handle on bringing your heavy, uh, I like to call anger or frustration, heavy emotions into it, you know, over eager and over that they feel light, but they're still dangerous. And then the last one, guys, of course, I could do an entire video on this. I could do a monologue on this. I could do a freaking video series on this is fear. And that relates to anything in your life. But most importantly, it's going to show up in your trading. Fear is like the bedrock for everything going wrong in your trading. It's like the foundation that's like, you know, it's like the house that has a foundation. Yeah, it's got a foundation, but it's dilapidated. It's got termites. It's got locusts. Everything's been eaten away at it. It's got mold. You cannot be a trader 
being terrified. You just can't because what you're gonna do is you're always gonna tread water. It's like one step forward, two, two steps back, three steps forward, three steps back because you're scared to risk money. And what traders are, you know, obviously when you have odds in your favor, you're not a gambler. That's a very strong word. That's a very strong word. But you're a professional risk taker. And in professional risk taking in the financial markets, you risk money. So you got to be comfortable with getting up to speed with risking money for a living and being a professional risk taker. And some are high stakes risk takers and some are not. But there's still a level of risk associated. So the people that are really, you know, like shaky and shaky and shaky and can barely cover their trading fees, for God's sakes, their broker fees, let alone make money in the trade. This is a problem. Scared money doesn't make money. It never has. It never will. Opportunity takes a level of confidence. So these are the four emotions. If you can get a handle on these guys, you are going to see like such an exponential growth in your trading like to the heavens. But when you curb these, there's a learning curve in actually getting rid of some. And you might even have a morning phase like that's just how it goes. But this is why we're forever students and you never get it. You never just get it. You're going to be a student for the rest of your life in the markets. The market's going to teach you things every day, you know, every now and then you get a day where you get humbled. And then a lot of days you feel like you're the, you're the, you're the King Kong, man. You want to beat your chest on top of the skyscraper. You know, that's just how it is. And you think your shit don't stink. You just have to curb these four, follow your plan, have a process, follow that process, be disciplined about all of it and know where you're headed and just fine tune these tools. So if you guys got any value out of this today, I love putting on these videos together. I love talking to you. Um, I've been trading a long time in my career, been teaching for a long time now. And it, it's, it's a real joy of mine to kind of connect with you and see what you're doing wrong. So, you know, how we can help you, how you can get better. So guys, hit my line, text me ASAP. 213-458-5997. You can even go to myinvestingclub.com, book a call. It's the top right button in the top right corner. Uh, book a call and let's flush out these problems in your trading. Let's flush out how you can get better and really talk about it and analyze it and you know, even see if MIC is a good fit for you if that's what you feel. But let's talk and see how you can get better in your trading. And also, I have to mention this because it's so wonderful and important. Multi seven figure a year trader Alex Tamiz put on a webinar at myinvestingclub.com slash webinar. It talks a lot more about this stuff, guys, and even goes further down in the rabbit hole. So if you like this, you're going to love that. So hit it up.